Did you happen to see the Dolphins and Charger game this weekend? Did you notice that AI was literally sitting in the crowd? We're going to figure out what that was about, and we're going to talk about it here tonight. Welcome to Pass the Gains for Life, where we teach you the mindset, the skill set, the tool set to get the asset so you can have passive gains for life. You just turned into a robot. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Speaking of which, hey, we want to welcome you to the show. Dave was trying to work on the intro. That's what's up. I'm so happy. But I'm so happy he did it that way because that is perfectly what we're talking about tonight. There were Yeah, but AI. wait, I need to get that e that that Elon chip in my head so I can say it better. Yeah, that's right, right? <laughs> yeah. Then I'll be what, partial. What is that? The the brain, whatever? Uh, the what? neural engine the, neural the link. Neuro, yeah. The Neuralink. Yeah, that's what yeah. it is. Well, it turns out we had some people here at the Dolphins and Charger game with a, uh, with, basically they were AI bots sitting at the game. So it was freaking a lot of people out. So we're going to go ahead and react to it. Act. Yeah, react yeah. to this real quick, man. I'm around here having malfunctions you know here. I can't even <laughs> you know why? Because now I'm more comfortable. I think on the camera, and I'm messing you up. No, nah, bro. Your nah, nah, nah. Bro. Yep, that's how it is. No, uh, ain't, ain't nobody worried about All you. Right, being but those weird robot bro. people on the on the screen. Let, let let's watch it. Well, yeah, let's take a look at that. All right. We're a movie. The creator. Looks like Joe Biden. <laughs> what in the world? Well, it turns let, let, out, it turns out that that was just an advertisement. Do you know what that for? was? Yeah. Uh, well, it's a movie that's coming out called oh, The Creator. Oh, that's right. On the back, right? I yeah. That. Yeah. As a matter of fact, let me take a look at that. When does that movie come out? September 20... I think it's this weekend. Really? September 20... Why am I... I'm thinking the 22nd, but I don't know. Uh, release date. September 29th. Yes, it comes out this month. So... Here's the reason why we're talking about that. Excuse the interruption. I'll make this quick. The economy is jacked up right now. Inflation is at an all time high. Living is expensive. What you need right now is a second income, but you don't have time to get a second job, nor will they pay you what you're worth anyway. I say pay yourself by starting an online business. It's not as hard as you think. You don't need any experience, nor do you need to be tech savvy. You only need three things, a working internet connection, about 30 minutes or more a day, and a willingness to earn money online. How much does it cost? About 89 cents a day for the month. You would spend more money in gas driving to a second job than you would on this. There's no risk at all. So if this sounds interesting to you, click the link below, mark pay myself. Let's get back to the show. Well, number one, the creator well, that that was a, a very well done marketing campaign. So when it comes to marketing, they took advantage of the NFL kickoff for the season. Right. So they had these people all dressed up and <laughs> sitting at the game, probably freaking out the, the crowd of people. And they're just got the creator on the back of their shirts and their little overall things. And it's like, okay, what is this? What is the creator? They're, they're doing something causing a buzz. Well, it, it's what, what they're doing is called creating a buzz. So this is like perfect marketing one-on-one. -on -one. Exactly. Get, People are going to be like, did you see those crazy robots? And they're going to be like, yeah, it's from that movie creator. Yeah. Right there on the back. And that's going to have people talking and, it's it's great. It's good. I yeah, think. or or you get reactions like these. 
And a different kind of fan, for sure, was spotted in the stands at SoFi for Sunday's matchup between the LA Chargers and the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, and their presence was freaking out some people there. They were really buzzing about it on social media. Take a look at this. Imagine getting to your seat and then realizing you are seated next to an AI robot in true LA fashion. There were AI robots at the Chargers game yesterday. If you guys didn't know, yesterday was the first football Sunday of the year, which is huge because there's a ton of eyes and people are extremely excited for the season. But when putting on the Chargers game, you notice something extremely weird in the crowd. There are actual AI, real AI robots that are looking, watching, and talking to people. So, <laughs> so with those kind of reactions, I mean, if you saw them, some of these, they, they had the weird playing music in there, causing these kind of things that people were seeing on TikTok, they'll be like, what, what kind of conspiracy theory type stuff is this? You know, and at first glance, you're like, why are these people sitting in the crowd looking like this? And then they turn their heads, yo, crap, what the heck is that? Well, I remember when I first saw it, I, I knew right away, I was like, it looks like those people from that movie about the AI bots. And sure enough, that's exactly what it was. I but, didn't get a good look at them, though. I didn't see this that thing behind their head mm. well i mean yeah until you saw that other video that we showed mm -hmm. but i mean but when you look at that when it comes to marketing right so on our show we talk about developing these types of skills right marketing is a skill knowing how to market a product how to get it in front of people's eyes create a conversation create uh, interest in it is one of the skills that you need to develop to actually do business anywhere whether it be online or a brick and mortar store you need to be able to market because marketing is your lifeline like marketing is the lifeblood of your business marketing is attention so you have to do certain things to gain the attention of others now in the case of um oprah the creator, winfrey and Dwayne. That was a well, bad. <laughs> well, that marketing went south. Well, what they was doing is they was using their fame mm -hmm. to bring money in. And in doing so, it kind of caused them to lose some face with how they did it because the marketing was off, as Queenie so eloquently put it last time we spoke. But with the creator, they actually just took advantage of the start of the NFC NFL season, right? It was, I think it was the first game of the season. Y'all going to be surprised as big as I am. I don't really care for football that much. My wife is a football fan and I, I watch the football with her, I but I don't really that. care for football myself. I like, <laughs> I like to see people get beat up <laughs> boxing <laughs> matches, UFCs. I like that kind of stuff. We got fight stuff all over the house. So my son is learning martial arts right now. But um, when it comes to football, that was the start of the season, I believe. And they bought them into the game and sat them in the crowd. And that created interaction. That created buzz, right? People are Tension. pulling out Those their phones. Freaking Look out, man. at this. Yeah. And they're using, they're using the power of social media and attention because people, the first thing they're going to do is like, this is weird. Yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, <laughs> and meanwhile, Here's the real AI. <laughs> <laughs> Us behind our phones, like videotaping stuff all the time. So they knew that that would happen. That will create a buzz. That will get people talking about it. And that will get more eyes on their product that they're planning on releasing. So September 29th, the movie theaters are more than likely going to be packed. The creator is probably going to do a very good first weekend simply from curiosity. Now, if the movie sucks, they it won't. They're going to put it with uh, real AIs in the movie theater. <laughs> and give it a bad uh, a, a thumbs down. It'll take you out. AI critics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, hey, I that's mean, that's a good idea. <laughs> was uh, have AI critics. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You have the AI critics. They'll never score your movie wrong. 
But no, I mean, th- th- this is marketing one on one. I think this was like a fun. I don't want to say phenomenal, fantastic job. Right. I think they did a fantastic job doing that. I'm trying to take a page out of their book and learning how to use marketing to get more eyes on the products that we're going to be coming out with. So, I mean, Dave, what was your reaction when you first saw this? It was terrifying at first because at first I thought it was like CGI. I didn't Uh, think it was really there. But then uh, they started getting the camera all around. The lighting looked right. And then mm -hmm. you show me this one when they were walking. Mm. That freaked me out too. I'm like, man, that's so crazy. How mm. real they walk with a little bit of the sway, and when they look, it's just well. This this is the one right here is like the 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 second one I saw. Yeah, I'll show you real quick. This one here, I was like, man, the side of your head looks like what do you call it? Uh, like a birthday cake, like the fondue. <laughs> like all of this i was like oh yeah that's fake but at the same time it looks really good i mean for them to be at a football game and being out there they they did really good with the makeup they had the nfl clothing on you know over their little creator overalls and whatnot but i gotta say man that that is that is super awesome i, I wonder how much they pay for that yeah well, if they would honestly probably put some hair in them, I don't know. They, they, it, the skin looks kind of fake, but well, and I, I think for the sake of time and money, <laughs> I think they were just like, y'all gonna be bald. We're gonna put a ball <laughs> cap on you, we're gonna slap this fondue on your head, and you're gonna put these little things on and try not to get beat up in the crowd by people who think you're real. <laughs> <laughs> smashing people in the face <laughs> man like that i don't know one- how it would feel about them sitting next to me though well i mean you saw how awkward that guy looked like uh hold on where was it where i guess this, you can this ask right questions here, i wonder if you can talk to them well somebody made hand contact with them check this one out Another one? Where he brings his hand up oh how did you oh, not wow. see that? Uh, I don't know. I'm just amazed by these cool little things that are by their ear. Oh, you're you're too busy looking at like the little, the little uh, noticeable uh, what do you call tech, it? The, the, tech the movie, the movie makeup. Nah, you know, some LED lights and some what was that foam or something? I mean, bro, cosplay. Have you seen how good cosplay? Well, you well the you girls. Know. I don't look at. <laughs> <laughs> oh man this co- th- th- this uh conversation could quickly go left if we stay on cosplay and girl we're not going left <laughs> Dang, <you're> so stupid. <laughs> but yeah for the most part i mean hey, hey this is thought that was funny huh anyway go ahead sorry yeah i know he's he's over here laughing at uh whatchamacallit uh roadblox but for the most part i i want to say that marketing is key to any kind of business that you're planning on starting. And one of the skills that we focus on here is learning how to market. I don't know where you at in your journey. If you're trying to develop a business, do you already have one? What skills do you have? Is it marketing? Is it sales? Is it, um, you know, digital marketing, whatever skill you have, you have to develop it and apply it to your business. It could be, uh, what is it? Dave's a drafter. He's a very skillful drafter, (laughs) right? But how, well, yeah, I mean, but you can actually use that to create an income and that's what you do. That's how you develop your skill and you use it for your business. But what are you guys working on at home? What what are you trying to develop? Leave it in the comment below. We'll be happy to see that. But with that, we're going to go ahead in the show. We thank you for being here each and every week. And we'll see you next time. Take care. See ya. See ya.